This is Masjid Yusuf Isha, one of the two mosques that a 16-year-old Singaporean male planned to attack in March. He had a detailed plan to kill worshippers in this mosque, as well as Masjid Ashafa, with a machete. This morning, a day after the news broke out, Christian and Muslim leaders met here for a discussion. Leaders from the National Council of Churches of Singapore met Mufti Naziruddin Nasir, who is the highest authority on Islam in Singapore, as well as Isa Masood, who is Mu'is CEO. Also present were Law and Home Affairs Minister K. Shanmugam and Minister of State for Home Affairs and National Development Faisal Ibrahim. The detained youth is a protestant Christian, influenced by far-right extremist ideology. Dr. Naziruddin and National Council of Churches Chairman Keith Lai reaffirmed their commitment to stand together, saying there is no animosity between Christians and Muslims in Singapore. As a community that has often needed to explain itself and what Islam truly represents, we deeply empathize with your shock and anguish that someone who professes the Christian faith seeks to do the very thing that would desecrate it. So we have no doubts uh, that Christianity, through the teachings of Jesus, um, the Church Fathers and the Bible, like Islam, through the teachings of the Quran and the Prophet Muhammad, preach love in place of hate, peace in place of violence, compassion in place of enmity. This is indeed a wake-up call for us as a community, not just the Christian community, but together as a nation, how we can help our young people uh, and guide them and mentor them in the right way. Mr. Shamugam stressed the importance of safeguarding Singapore's religious harmony, especially in these times. This sort of extremism and uh, tendency towards violence is not restricted to any race, any religion. Let's not typecast. We deal with it wherever it rises. And we have been fortunate that our religious leaders have stood in solidarity and sent a common message across to all Singaporeans that religion stands for peace. We all practice our different faiths. We are supported and free to practice our faiths. At the same time, we don't attack each other. Although his age wasn't a factor of consideration on whether he should be detained, Mr. Shanmugan said that it may play a part on how he will be rehabilitated. We detain him without trial under the Internal Security Act. He will get a hearing within the rubric of the uh, Internal Security Act and he will have a lawyer and uh, his position will be put across. I think given his age, there must be considerable hope that he can be rehabilitated. But uh, I don't think there is any doubt in ISD's mind that uh, he ought to be detained for a period. Mr. Shanmukam did not divulge how the Internal Security Department captured the youth and said that the boy's trial will not be suitable for an open hearing. Farzana Friday for The Straits Times.